Hey the guys and dolls out there in YouTube land, your favorite little keto goofball diamond. And it has been a wonderful day. It is keto day 511. Real fast, find out what I ate yesterday that was all keto friendly, most of it fast food, because I didn't have time to be at home. And then everything else you'll see is from today. So much love and enjoy, and I'll be right back to tell you about my weight and everything. Good morning, guys and dolls. So I'm heading to my daughter's uh, labor and delivery this morning. It's only 6 a.m. I stopped by McDonald's to get three sausage patties because I need the energy. I've only had about four and a half hours of sleep. My weight did go down, though. I'm very, very thrilled about that. I wonder what it would have been if I had actually had eight hours of sleep. So it's like four and a half. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I'm excited this morning, but I'm going to get me some energy in before I get up there. Yeehaw. All right, y'all. So um, I left the hospital to break, eat again. I'm having a barbecue plate with a vinegar-based barbecue sauce side salad and a thing of greens. It also came with slaw, but there is um, sugar in the mix, so I'm not messing with that. But, yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> Golly, who won't take 100 calories when you have a real meal? Yeah, and that's what I'm talking about. And those greens are amazing. They really are. <laughs> Didn't touch that. But I tore all that up. Has anybody actually eat that? No, but I'm at Hendrix Barbecue if anybody needs to know. <laughs> After work, hubby finally made it up to the hospital. He's taking me out for dinner. I'm having a double quarter pounder with cheese. Um, without a bun, obviously, because, well, hospital though. I asked my husband for a napkin. I got one. Where's the rest? <laughs> oh, you got two more. Good. You're, that's terrible. You're done, you're good, I, I need so. a nap. <laughs> Alright guys and dolls, so me and the hubs are riding around a little bit. Corey is in a C-section thing. Um, we went up there, saw her, hugged her, kissed her, everything, and we sat with her through the epidural, the second epidural, which doesn't seem to be working. Her dad has the same problem. He uh, Pain medication doesn't really work for him very well. Um, even when she came to from her gallbladder surgery a few years back, uh, the, the pain medication wasn't working very well and they were like well that's what we use it, it works for most everybody and it, it wasn't working for her um, so she didn't end up dilating but to about a five and a half almost six and they said things just weren't progressing well so yeah, now we gotta wait about two hours to find out what's happening and what the next one um, Hey guys, so I just got a text from our son-in-law. Um, Karina's doing good, and Anthony's here. So we get to meet him as soon as they, you know, let her out of the recovery area back there where the, uh, they do the C-sections and everything. We're back. We're, we're on our way. We're, we're hurrying, but I don't think there's any need to rush at the moment because I think that, you know, it's going to be still a little bit longer. And then as soon as we get to hold kettle grandbaby, we got to go get grand, well, get our daughter something to eat. Because she hasn't ate since like 4 a.m. yesterday. And she don't like to go without food. <laughs> Y'all will see him soon. Hi, beautiful. Check on you, okay? Otherwise, they don't really like you. <laughs> I'm gonna put the wires on. I got these little batteries. He's not as fat as I thought he would be. <laughs> He's long. Your finger earlier. Come on, baby. I'm gonna have to put that back on. Leave your fingers alone. Proud daddy. <laughs> Leave him alone. Like Stop scratching yourself. Yeah. Alright. You taking a selfie or you just. I'm taking a video. What's up, dude? You know. Look at that. Mm. Your nose is so cold. Mm -hmm. He's a well behaved. Oh, he's it's so beautiful. He just wants to eat his hands. He's okay. No. Does he get blue eyes? Did you get Papa Brian's eyes? Hmm. 
Oh my gosh, she's amazing. Babies, way out and done before I get here. They can't get up. I'll tell them I get report. He's going to tell you all about it. He's trying to tell you he wants his hands out in them uh, things. He wants to make his face up like he did. Oh, those need to stay on his hands. He, he's just raising his hands. He just wants to. Well, Not yet, but a while ago he was grabbing at his cheeks and his eyes. Okay, so we just seen our new grandbaby, held him and hugged him, we kissed him and everything. Um, Corey's breastfeeding, so everybody cleared the, the area. She's getting ready to be where she can eat finally after way over 24 hours. I don't really know how long it's been. Um, but we're heading to get her pizza from Domino's. That's what she asked her daddy for. And her and Aaron, of course, can share, share pizza, so that should be feeling. They've got Doritos, and we took them some two liters. So they got a little party house going on in the hospital. Uh, and I'm going to take Big Brown home after a while, and then I'll come back and spend time with the baby after I probably get a nap. In fact, I want to go back today, and I want to cuddle him and hug him forever. But Grandma's really tired. Uh, no, but not when he's a day old or brand new. You got six kids to cuddle him. I don't think he's going to be cuddling him for the next six years. I mean, I'm going to try. <laughs> but Zach was it was kind of hyper. I think I've had about three hours of sleep. I've, I've got a headache just from sleep deprivation. So I'll talk to you guys about my weight and everything by the time I get home. Mm. Y'all just got a beautiful homemade Christmas card in the mail. Um, oh, I don't want to show her address. Okay, but it's gorgeous. Look, wishing you a wonderful Christmas. That's adorable. Oh. Oh, it had a $25 gift card with it with a, a golden retriever on it. Let's see, uh, Joni and family, I hope you have, I hope this Christmas is filled with love and happiness. And of course, that new grandbaby sure is. Just got here a while ago. I'm so happy I found or actually directed to your channel. You are such a blessing to others doing keto, and your love for your family is heartwarming. I chose this card specifically because I thought Zach would like it, like the teddy bear. Um, may you have a very bright and cheery little Christmas. Love and blessings. I think that's a Shania. I can't, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. Or Keto Cougar. I think you changed your screen name last night, or your uh, YouTube channel name. So just pop it up at the bottom no, real quick so everybody will know it. Keto Diamond. I'm Keto Diamond. Okay. <laughs> what do you think about the Christmas card, Zach? Is it pretty? Yeah. Is it super cute? Are you eating some non-keto friendly pizza? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much, darling. It's gorgeous. It's super cute. And on the back it even says... Handmade just for you by Shania Lee. I hope I say that right. Okay, so I did not track yesterday. I don't even care if I was within my macros yesterday because I was a very busy girl. I was at the hospital just about all day and arguing with people about all day um, and having a good time pretty much all day. Except for the fact it took forever and I kept falling asleep and, you know, hospital stuff, long, dull, and nothing happened. Finally came home, saw all those videos that we're not going to mention. Um, just watch last night's video if you want to know about that. Anyway, <laughs> I got a call about, I don't know exactly what time it was this morning, but it was super, it was pretty early. Um, my daughter, they were, they told her they were going to do a cesarean. And uh, so we, me and my husband rushed to the hospital. Uh, right before she called me, I, I had just went to pee and got on the scale, but I didn't record it. But I was 198.6, so that is a new low again. Um, doing really well right now. I love it. I was kind of surprised, though. With all the walking around the hospital I did yesterday, all the fast food and everything, I kind of thought I would grab some water weight. Plus, that was two days with pretty much no sleep. So I can't wait to get a full eight hours of sleep and step on the scale and see what it says. But I'm very, very thrilled with that, with the new low. I'm about to go back to the hospital and see my daughter. I only came home because I, my husband, he's, he's been out all day and he's tired and his back hurts and yeah, he's ready to chill.
Plus, he didn't get much sleep last night either. We both kind of figured the minute we laid down, we'd get that call that she was in active labor. So we didn't lay down until really late. And then when I did lay down, little man over there was giving me a fit. So, <laughs> uh, it's a good day. Oh, guys and dolls, if you would like to help Corey out and uh, the baby, you can always send stuff to my post office box, which is in every description of every video. I also put her PayPal account down there so that if you'd like to help the baby and her out with anything, you most certainly may. And everything would be very appreciative because they really ain't got much of nothing. But he's gorgeous. I showed y'all the photos and videos. I love his little nose, his little, little, little chunky nose. You kiss it, it's always cold. <laughs> he's got the longest little fingers and toes. And I thought he was going to be a really fat baby, but it, he's just really long. So he's a good heavy baby. Whew. Beautiful boy. Blonde hair. I knew he would. Anyway, uh, if you need any help with keto, just let me know. Give me a shout. I'll be glad to help you. All the, the links are below for my website, for uh, helping Corey out the their address. You just put my name on it, and I'll give it to her. Just leave a little note with it. And we'll share it on video and talk about it. Uh, I got... Just quite a few Christmas cards I've got to get and filled out and sent off that y'all have sent to me. And I'm so appreciative. I really love those. Those are so gorgeous. You guys did such a good job. Um, I hope they're not there after Christmas, but y'all know we're coming down to the wire of getting Christmas cards out. So it might be too late. But if you come after Christmas, please forgive me. Um, I've been a very, very busy girl lately. Much love to you. Uh, KetoDiamond.com if you want to learn how to do keto healthy and safe. And you can always ask me questions if you need any help. Much love, guys.